See how he is? You can have the little guy. Hey folks, we're with a special guest today at a lake in Tennessee that I grew up near. This is Panfish Bill. I've been calling him Billy all day, which has been a little weird. This is Panfish Bill. He's a multi-species angler with his preferred fish to target being catfish. I haven't caught a fish this year yet. Billy's gonna see if he can get that skunk off of my year. We've tied up here on a little bank bar outside of this lake. We've got Cut Skit Jack and Gizzard Shad out. Let's see what we can catch. Y'all stay tuned. I'll leave the links to all his social media in the description box below. Be sure and go check him out. Let's see if we can get on some fish. There's a lot of gulls in the area, or as Catfish Dave calls them, Walmart Eagles. Nope. Oh. And that right one, boom, boom. Which one? The one on the end? Yep, the white one. Dropped it. Right. Anyway, as I was going to say, all this water is two to four feet deep. A little bit further out in that direction, it's eight foot deep, and that's about a, how deep. And that's as deep as it gets around this cove area. It might be coming back already. Maybe. At least we're getting some action at this spot. That's good. <laughs> See how he is? You can have the little guy. He may not be that little. One. Yeah, he's little. That's all right. He still puts up a fight. How do you get that around? You can probably... Uh... Go under? Oh, he's a little guy. You can lift. Hey, let me see it. I don't know if you can dead it. weight it. I don't want to break your rod. That's... Oh, these rods are pretty strong. Whoa. <laughs> there you go. Whoa. It's not my first catfish, but <laughs> I did grow up here. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Another one. Hold up, hook this again. Fast. Got him? Oh. That might be a good one. Either that or the battle cat is making it look like a bigger one. Oh. Yeah, walk over there. I don't wanna keep walking. There we go. I might have a fish on. Did I just pull another fish out of a stag? <laughs> Yeah, mine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Team effort. <laughs> Fish number three. Pulled him right out of the snag. I did that a while back with my buddy Clinton. I thought I was pulling in a snag. This one. I could tell it was a fish. On that other video, I couldn't. I can reuse that head. Nice blue. All right, we're gonna let this guy go. Nice Tennessee River blue cat. 
And we missed a fish on that rod while dealing with this fish. That's funny. go this is going to be the thumbnail of the video <laughs> all right you better let him go are you where the <laughs> other way I'll buddy leave eventually <laughs> other way buddy there he goes this one's hooked or this one? I can't tell. I just saw him splash out of the water. I wasn't recording when he grabbed it. If I was, you guys would have got to see this fish jump clear around the water. When catfish are in shallow water, they like to go up instead of down and end up coming out of the water like a bass. Another blue in the boat. And he has inhaled the bait. So I'm going to let him keep his little treat he just got. He's talking to us. Let me go. <laughs> Let's do a Dieter Melhorn hold. Makes him look bigger. Whoa! <laughs> Alright, gonna let him go. He's got that piece of fish in him too. He doesn't want to open his mouth. Strange. He and he's gone. Oh, there he goes. I might as well show you guys this. I keep forgetting to do it on video. And I know some of you have asked how I rig my line. It's just a Team Catfish double action circle hook. I've got it snelled. When you snell one of these hooks, it just creates awesome trigger action. You don't even have to set the hook. As you've seen, we've caught several fish where they've just grabbed it and swam with it a little bit. Uh, this, this is either 50 or 60 pound monofilament as the leader line. I just use big game for it. Then I use a big one aught or two aught swivel. I think this is just a one aught. I use polymer knots on the swivel. Then I use a little bead that I got from Bass Pro Shops. It's just a rubber bead to protect the actual knot. I use the Rig Wrap Easy Sinker Slides. I was actually given some of these sinker slides by Rig Wrap, but since then I bought a giant package just so I can have a whole bunch of these because I love them. You can take them off and free line your bait if you wanted. And it's a four ounce bank sinker. And I make these. I might do a lead melting video at some point. And this is 30 pound Andy Monster line. This is similar to what Catfish Dave uses. I think he uses 40 pound. He's used as big as 60 pound on his bank fishing rigs. This is a B&M Silver Cap Magnum. This is not the Elite, but this is the newer one. It's all stainless steel eyes, uh, metal reel seat. I don't know if it's aluminum or stainless steel. I bet it's aluminum. Most of them are aluminum. And a cork handle. It's the same blank that they've always used. And I've seen this blank catch 100 pound class fish. And I'm sure even with the upgrades makes it an even better value of a rod. And I've seen these rods, the older ones and even the newer ones every now and then they get as low as 50 and 60 bucks. Which is a killer deal for this. And it's an Akuma Classic Pro. 300 size. The camera was, camera battery went out right in the middle of me talking about that, but Kuma Classic Pro and that one thing of Andy Monster line fit six of my reels and I still have a little bit left. Still kind of an expensive line, but I think it's worth it. Fish. Oh, we got a fish. Grab it. It's yours. Like a big one or water's still cold, so they're a little bit lethargic. Yeah, that guy can't be lifted. Oh, 
Quality's going up a little bit. This is a probably eight to ten pounder here. Yeah. Here, let's weigh this guy. Got my whisker seeker digital scales. Oh, I underestimated him. He's 13 pounds. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's a nice one. It's yeah. our biggest fish of the day. Okay. They're getting better. A little better quality, guys. So, I went from being skunked to having a good day. Good year. <laughs> Whoa. He had something to say about it. <laughs> we definitely can't keep the rods in the water at this point. I'm just going to keep using gizzard chat on here. I've got a lot of gizzards and only a couple of skipjacks left. In the moon, I think we got a fish on this one. Either that or a big stick. Could be a turtle too. Pretty heavy. Oh, nope. Stick fish. Stick fish. Of course, he's pretty far out there. He's a good one too. <laughs> Fun time. This is wrapped six ways to Christmas. Let's see if we can grab that line. I'm just trying to hold it and I'll get this unwrapped and then we'll get the fish in. Wow. That might be the best one of the day. Today's bite has been so light. I'm used to blues just hammering the rods, but they're not really doing that today. Water temps might still be low. Yeah. Well, they, they're hammering when it's low, too. It's probably because of the high pressure. Let me get the grips. Oh, yeah, he's a nice one. Oh. He was just sitting out there. Oh. Got that shad belly. Oh. Got it. It's been sitting out there for who knows how long on the line. Definitely the biggest one of the day. I guess this is a testament to high pressure. They don't feed well in high pressure. They just act like flatheads. They grab it and they just sit there. We're going to get weight of this guy. Fourteen pounds. Yep, best one of the day. Upgraded by one pound. Mm-hmm. Nice one. <laughs> I bet he's thirteen now. Watch your phone. That's okay. All right, let's get this guy in the water. And here we are. We're going to move to catch a bigger fish. This is a decent one. Gonna go. Don't beach him though. They're so lethargic today. I mean, we didn't have them out of the water that long.
There he goes. No worse for wear. Might have been because he was wrapped up in that. Oh, wait. He came back. <laughs> oh, well, he was swimming towards us. Oh, okay. Like, wait a minute. <laughs> I don't know. He's not as big. I'm not going to make a decision which is okay to boat flip. <laughs> I guess I'm just showing the power of this being M rod. Oh, this guy's probably a little bit too heavy. Still See the leeches? Mm -hmm. This guy's got some leeches on him. Another one in the boat. It slowed down. Started getting this wind and the bite slowed down to almost nothing. We may go exploring after this fish. See if we can uh, maybe get a big one on the river. folks that's going to wrap it up for today i want to thank billy for taking this out if you haven't already and i'm sure you have but be sure to check out his channel in the description box below i'll leave the link to everything thanks for watching if you're new to our channel be sure and click subscribe leave a comment in the comment box below if you like these video hit the thumbs up and if you want to stay notified on any videos we do in the future click that notification bell if you're watching blue collar fishing i'm your host kelly go check out panfish thanks for watching See ya.